Hello World Cup fans, we are now looking into Group B with the opening match of that group. It is Morocco up against Iran. We'll talk about that match and more on today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match preview, this time looking ahead to the opening game in Group B between Morocco and Iran. We'll talk more about that in just one second, but if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have fans from both Morocco and Iran uh, here to talk about their teams and their chances, not only in this game, but in the tournament as a whole. So, fingers crossed they show up. And they, uh, they make the appointment. Uh, anyway, so let's take a closer look at the match between Morocco and Iran. It takes place in the Kroskovsky Stadium in St. Petersburg. And the match will take place 15th of June 2018. And Morocco, currently managed by Hervé Renard, uh, secured qualification by winning uh, Group C of the CAF uh, third round. And they secured that qualification on the 11th of November 2017. This will be their fifth tournament. Uh, their last was back in 1998 in the tournament in France, and their best appearance was a round of 16 berth. And you can currently find odds of 500 to 1 for uh, Morocco to make it through. Let's take a look at their schedule for Morocco, obviously, taking place uh, the opening game for them. And the Group B is up against Iran. We talk about that. The next match will be up against Portugal, 20th of June, at the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. And they'll wrap up their uh, group phase, anyway, up against Spain, 25th of June, uh, in the Kalingrad Stadium in Kalingrad. How about Iran? Well, they're currently managed by Carlos Quiros. Uh, they got uh, secured their qualification way back in the 12th of June, 2017. And they did so by uh, winning Group A of the AFC third round. Uh, this will be their fifth tournament. Their last was back in Brazil, 2014, but they've never got past the group stage. And you can also get odds on uh, Iran winning the World Cup at 500 to 1. So let's take a look at their schedule, obviously. The uh, opening game, we've mentioned it previous, up against Morocco. Then they take on Spain, the 20th of June, at the Kazan Arena, out in Kazan, and they'll wrap it up against Portugal in the Mordovia Arena in Saranesk at the 25th of June. So, how about the previous re meetings between the two sides? Well, according to my data, they've only met the twice. Uh, the first was way back in 15th of September 1978, Iran versus Morocco. Iran came out of 2-0 winners in the President's Cup. Then they took on, uh, once again, they took on uh, Morocco and they uh, drew 1-1 in the LG Cup. And that was back in the 17th of June, uh, 17th of September 2002. And it looks like Iran might have won out in penalties. So this is a this is a massive game for both these sides. This is a game that both of them need to win if they're going to give themselves a bit of a chance to get through because the next two games for both of them are, are tough. And um, they, might, they might manage to scrape a point between one of those two games. But to be honest with you, this is it. You know, it's, it's, this is their World Cup final. They need to win this to kind of get themselves a chance to, uh, to realistically get themselves into the next round. But anyway, that's just a little bit of what I think about the match. What do the fans think? Let's, let's bring them on in and see what they have to say. So you've heard a little bit of what I've had to say about the match, but what we really want to hear is a fan's point of view now. I was expecting to be live with a Moroccan, but guess what? He stood me up. But I've always, like a good boy scout, always got a backup plan. And here he is. Here's my backup plan, my football generalist. Hello, Mike. Introduce yourself. Tell them, tell them a bit of your footballing wizardry. Uh, Mike Tosamak. I've been watching the sport since I was five years old and followed it very faithfully like my religion. Yep. And, uh, and for his sins, he is a Manchester United fan. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to talk Morocco for us because my mate, or whoever he was, stood us up. How could he do so? Anyway, so we're talking Morocco, and they are in Group B with the heavyweights. Portugal, Spain, and uh, also Rans, I guess you call them, uh, Iran. Um, but if Morocco are going to pull off a major shock at this World Cup and get through the groups, which match must they win and why? Um, I'm going to say they're going to have to at least tie, if not win, Portugal. Um, I don't see them beating Spain. Um, Iran, I feel they have more talent than them, uh, especially from an international perspective and players playing across all five major leagues at this point. So I think that's where I would give their advantage at. But the Portugal game is definitely where they're going to have to uh, at least get a point, if not all three. Good, good analysis. Yep, I think that is the crucial match itself. But they do open up their account up against Iran. Now, what should they be worried about against Iran? 
Well, I think the biggest thing for them against Iran is going to be their pace. Um, you know, they they got a lot of fast players, um, especially playing in the Saudi Arabian League right now. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing that they're going to have to deal with is going to be the pace of them, uh, especially for 90 minutes. So, I mean, a lot of these teams that just came off, you know, four or five day break, you know, and to get into a game of, I don't want to say, you know, maybe counterattacking football at that point. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be very intriguing. It is. It but, is it? but I do expect Morocco to win. Do expect Morocco to edge it. We'll get to, we'll talk about predictions and scores in a second. But okay, now you're going to take your Manchester United jersey off. You're going to put your Moroccan jersey on. And you're going to, if you could pick a player excluding Ronaldo from the Group B rivals to, and you give them a Moroccan passport and say, hey boy, you're playing for Morocco now. Who's it going to be? Well, I mean, I would have to say probably as much as I do not like the guy, Sergio Ramos. Mm -hmm. um, I think having a leader like that who's been there, who's won everything, not only on the domestic level, but also on the international level, um, I think he would be you know, a really good anchor for them keeping everybody calm and, and keeping everybody on track to what, what the tactics are of the match. Yep, he is He is not Mr. Popular right now, especially when you look at some of the people in Group A. I think some of the Egyptians are still a little bit angry uh, at him. As and, they should. and that could be one of those little uh, stories that play out. Maybe Egypt qualify into the knockouts and maybe they'll take on Spain. Whew, that's a story for later in the tournament. Okay, so we've, got, we've snatched Sergio Ramos and he's now Moroccan. But let's say if we could find the TARDIS or the DeLorean and go back in time and grab a Moroccan legend and put him in the current 23, who would it be? Um, I would have to say Mustafa Haji. Um, I think he'd be, you know, that, that midfield general that they would need at this point. Um, you know, I think that's the biggest problem that I see for the Moroccan team is that transition from defense to attack. Um you know, if they are going to try to play, you know, counterattacking football, absorbing the pressure and trying to get forward, you know, you got to have somebody in that midfield. And I don't know if they have it now, but they could bring him back. I mean, I think that would be excellent for them. If, if only we could have the powers of time travel. Now, OK, it's the crunch time, the money question. I'm going to put all my money on your decision. Who's going to win Iran against Morocco? Final score. I'm going to go 3-1 Morocco. 3-1 Morocco, also in that group. It's it's a big one. Probably one of the tasty games of the first round of matches. Spain against Portugal. What's the final score going to be in that game? I'm going to go with Spain 2-1. I'm going to go with Spain 2-1. Now, usually I would get the national representative to give a bit of a motivational speech. Now, obviously, you're not Moroccan, but any words of wisdom for the, for the Moroccan boys as they're about to start their World Cup? Um... Just tell them straight up that, you know, the name on the back is not as important as the name on the front. Look at that. That was not scripted, people. That was but was poetry. Poetry in motion. Thank you, Mike Tossamag, my football generalist. Uh, he's, he's on call. He's a football brain on call. And he's come in and stepped in at the last minute. So I do appreciate you coming in. And uh, the check is in the mail. Thank you. All right. Anyway, I'm joined here by, by uh, my buddy from Iran, and he's going to be talking a little bit about their country and their chances uh, at Russia. So, uh, first of all, let's, let's bring him on in. Here he is. Uh, so, let's let's if you can just introduce yourself to the world, tell him a little bit a bit, little bit about yourself, and uh, it's, it's something bizarre, perhaps. Hello, everyone. My name is Naraman. I am a supporter of the Iran national team. And an interesting fact about me is that I've actually lived in. I've moved 14 houses in about seven countries. So wow, I have a wow. pretty global perspective. So he's a, he's a globe trotter. He's, he's going all over the place. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, Iran's adventure at the World Cup. Um, it's about to start. Uh, and you've been drawn against uh, three other pretty decent sides as well, Morocco, Spain, and Portugal. Um, so out of those three uh, teams and matches, which one of those must you win in order to keep Iran's dream alive at Russia? So... Some would say we've been put in the group of death, and I completely agree with that. I think this is our strongest team 
for a World Cup ever. And so for me, the most important game is the first one against Morocco, which is on the 15th of June. Um, that will set the precedent for the rest of the tournament, really, because usually Iran plays well as the underdogs. But with a team like Morocco, we may be slightly underdogs. I feel like that will be the most important in terms of gain, getting the confidence to go forward with the other matches. OK, so in, in your opening match, like you said, in, in the June 15th, you do take on Morocco. What concerns you the most about them uh, as, as we edge closer to kickoff? So Morocco is actually interesting, is an interesting team because they haven't been in the World Cup for over 20 years. Uh, they have a new manager who's kind of given that, that extra edge, the extra aggression. They're also a team like ours. They're very defensive. They barely conceded any goals to their uh, last round of qualifiers. Uh, uh, we had 10 matches where we didn't uh, concede any goals. Um, in, in a way, they're very similar to us, but they've got a much more clinical attack. They're one of the best teams in Africa, so they are frightening to some extent. I don't know how to feel about going into this match. Wow, somebody's done their homework, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm impressed with your knowledge. Um, so, obviously, you've, we've mentioned a little bit about, about Morocco, but uh, you obviously you've got some two uh, major European sides. Um, but out of the three countries, if you could choose one player from those three countries, just not from in, in, in each country, just for one out of the three, what player would you have in your starting eleven for uh, Iran? Who could you steal? Who could you swipe and make them Iranian? Give them an Iranian passport and say, yep, yeah, you play for us now. It's, it's a funny one because obviously everyone would likely choose Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, you know, he's, he's been amazing in the, in the last uh, portion of the year. And he's just been outrageous and clinical in front of goal. Um, I think personally, though, I wouldn't choose him. I would choose David Silva. We need that kind of... Uh, creative midfielder to feed our clinical attack as well, which is something that we lack, really. Also, so the FIFA deadline has now passed and the 20, lucky 23 players have been selected for Iran. But uh, if you could go back into the country's past, uh, who would you like to bring in? Obviously, they're, they're probably like 50 years old now or whatever. But if in their prime, if you could bring back an Iranian international from, their, from your history, who would it be and why? So the most famous Iranian player is actually a guy called Ali Dai. He has the world record. He's the world record holder for the most amount of international goals scored at 109 goals in his international career. Wow. So to put that in perspective, uh, Ronaldo is only at 80 goals this, in his career, uh, into 80 Crazy. international goals. So obviously that's someone that I would bring in because he's got that experience. He knows how to score goal on the big stage. And yeah, I think that would be the best player. I think I actually recall him. I think he went to play. He played a bit in Germany. I think he played. I think actually did Bayern pick him up? Bayern Munich. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That was a. Uh, that was back in the, either the nineties, maybe late nineties. Wow. So yeah, good pick. Good pick. Now, if you could just give me maybe a, a quick score prediction for your match, which is Morocco against up against Iran, and then uh, follow it through with the match, the other game, which is Spain against Portugal. So what? Who, what do you think is going to happen? What's the goal scores? That kind of stuff. Honestly, I think the teams are very, very evenly matched, Morocco and Iran. I, I predict a draw. Um, on, on a more optimistic scale, I think it will be a 1-0 win. I don't think it's going to be a goal fest at all. Um, but, you know, I think with Iran, it's, we hope to get at least three points from this tournament. I'd be happy with that. Uh, between Spain and Portugal, I, I think Spain is a very good team this year. I think they're going to be about 2-0. 2-0 two nil, two. Two nil to Spain. So that's uh, Mr. Iran's predictions for his match, his opening match up against Morocco. Uh, so we've already got Morocco's uh, input. Now we've got Iran's uh, input. Now it's up to the cat and see what she has to think about this match. So you've heard what the fans are about to say. What does Cast the Cat think happen between Morocco and Iran? Kastakat has opted for Iran in this game, and if you're unfamiliar with the work, might as well head over to my YouTube channel, check out the rest of her predictions. She's done 
the whole lot from the opening game in Group A all the way through to Group uh, through to the match in Group H, the final match in Group H. And she's also got an app out at the moment. Uh, it's 100% free. It's a it's a you know it's a matching game. Cat has nine lives. It's pretty simple. Um, uh, if you're interested in that, I, I, I guess like. it's 100% free. No in-game purchases. Nice. No initial fee. It's uh it's just I'm it's helping a friend shit. out with his uh, programming uh, knowledge, and it, in in the end. It gives me a, a, a nice nice feature to, to talk about on my stuff. So check it out. Link to the game at the end of the video and also in the description below. So I've heard what Team Iran is that to say. I've heard what Team Morocco is that to say. And I've even seen the prediction from the cat. But what I think is going to happen. Well, I'm taking all that into consideration. And I think Morocco have got this bad boy wrapped up. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Details to those bad boys in the description below. Yep, I'm going to be doing an instant match review of this game. Once the final whistle happens, I'll be uh, posting my thoughts and opinions uh, in a very condensed, short and sweet sort of video. So make sure you come back and check that bad boy out. But if you want a detailed review, you might as well come back maybe a few hours after the kickoff when I'll have, hopefully, fingers crossed, reaction from the, both those fans that we, uh, we spoke to earlier uh, and, and, and showcase their opinions and thoughts on the result. Also, we'll be looking ahead to the next game in Group B between Spain and, and uh, Portugal. What a, what a tasty game that's going to be. But for this game, win or bust, I'm afraid, between Morocco and Iran. You know, and, I, and to be honest with you, if I'm going to throw my money on something, uh, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm going to opt for Morocco. Yeah, I'm going to opt for Morocco um, because I just, I just think they're... You know, the standard of football in Africa is improving. It's not, it's, it's not there yet, but I think Morocco are a tasty outfit. There's no real superstars between both of these sides, um, but there are more players within the Moroccan uh, side that are, are playing at a higher level. You know, when you look at them, a lot of them are playing in France. A couple of them have played in England before. Um, so, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me hear your opinion in the comments section below. But uh, anyway, until next time, uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there, it'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also, let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comments section below, and I will see you all very, very soon.